رمضان 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 كريم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last prophet and messenger Muhammad, on his family members, his companions, and all those who follow in their way till the day of judgment. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this new episode of Ramadan Insights. I greet you with the greeting of Islam, the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Tonight I want to talk about a very important topic, which is how to attain forgiveness in Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah, who is so merciful and who is so forgiving, who has given us an opportunity in Ramadan, in fact, many opportunities to attain his forgiveness. This is out of his infinite mercy to his creation. The Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, whoever fasts Ramadan with firm belief and hoping in the reward of Allah will be forgiven all his past mistakes. Again, the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us, whoever stands up in the night prayer, which is the taraweh or optional night prayer in the month of Ramadan, will be forgiven all his past mistakes, as long as he's praying with firm belief and hoping for the reward from Allah. Again, our beloved messenger told us, if we stand up in prayer in the night of power with firm belief and hoping for the reward from God, we'll get forgiven all our past mistakes. These are all opportunities for forgiveness from Allah. When we recite the Quran in the month of Ramadan, we accept, we believe that Allah will reward us immensely and it is a form of getting forgiveness from Allah because Allah commanded us to recite the Quran and to listen to it when it's recited so that we may attain his mercy and forgiveness. In the month of Ramadan, there is many opportunities to get forgiveness. If we sit in the Islamic knowledge cycles where they're discussing about the Quran or Islamic topics, we be, will get forgiveness from Allah when we attend such knowledge gathering cycles, cycles. Also, we believe that in Ramadan, when we spend money for the poor, for the needy, for the orphans in charity, it's a way of attaining forgiveness because Allah, he, his anger is extinguished by charity. So charity in Ramadan is one of the ways to attain forgiveness from Allah Almighty. Also, when we forgive others who have wronged us, it's another opportunity to get forgiveness from Allah because there are many instances which have shown that it's a way of how you treat the human beings or other creations that Allah will treat you the same way. There is a story of a noble companion of the Prophet Abu Bakr al-Siddiq who was actually uh, angry with one of his relatives, Mistah, because of his slandering his daughter Aisha. So he swore that he would never support him financially again. But Allah the Almighty sent a verse in the Quran telling him that he should forgive and that he should support his relative. And Abu Bakr agreed to do so. So this forgiveness is one of the ways by forgiving others, Allah will forgive us also. Again, there is a story of a lady from the Banu Israel. The Prophet told us there's one lady from the Banu Israel, the children of Israel. She was a prostitute. But she was one day traveling in a, a remote place and she found a well and she went inside and drank water. When she came out of the well, she saw this dog that was dying of thirst and licking the mud around the well out of the extreme thirst. She felt sorry for this dog and went back inside the well and carried uh, water for this dog using her socks. And she quenched the thirst of this dog. Allah was grateful for her, for what she did and forgave her her sins. So being kind even to animals like dogs and cats and birds, this is also highly rewarded by Allah with forgiveness. What about human beings who are in more need sometimes? So Ramadan is an opportunity to be kind to our fellow human beings, to forgive others, to perform extra worship at night. When we perform the night prayers, when we read the Quran, when we make seclusion in the mosque, itikaf, and make remembrance of Allah, we do ask Allah for forgiveness in our prayers. We ask Allah to forgive us our sins. 
the Prophet said to the Muslims, seek forgiveness from Allah for I by Allah repent and for ask Allah for forgiveness every day 70 times. In another narration, I do that 700 times. So if the Prophet himself who is forgiven, Allah has forgiven him his past mistakes and his future mistakes, he is repenting and asking Allah for forgiveness every day 70 to 100 times. What about us? We should do the same. So we have to follow his example. So forgiveness, the doors of forgiveness are plenty. If you perform Umrah or you call the lesser pilgrimage in the month of Ramadan, you get also forgiveness from Allah for your sins. Because Allah says uh, this act of performing Umrah is another way of attaining forgiveness. And uh, the five prayers, the, uh, the Juma to Juma, Friday to Friday prayers, and uh, Hajj to Hajj, all these are ways of getting forgiveness from Allah. So one who goes to Umrah, he might attain forgiveness from Allah, especially as in Ramadan, if you perform the lesser pilgrimage, like you performed pilgrimage with the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. And the doors of forgiveness are plenty. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can do many things to get forgiveness from Allah, but the most important thing is actually how to treat your fellow human beings, helping the poor, helping the needy, treating the sick, trying to take care of the widows and the orphans and those who are in need in the society, who are the destitute in the society. Because the Prophet said whoever is, uh, whoever is striving for the widows and for the poor and the needy is like making, stri uh, making striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there's a lot of opportunities in Ramadan to do good and to win the forgiveness of Allah through being kind to his creation, kind to the even animals, and also to try to ask Allah in all this time. Because every day, every fasting person has a prayer that Allah will answer for him. So we know that Allah forgives every night a lot of people and they are released from the hellfire. Those who are condemned every night, Allah releases a group of people from the hellfire throughout the whole month of Ramadan. So we pray to Allah that he accept this fast of us, this Ramadan from us, and that he grant us forgiveness. Because if we attain forgiveness from Allah, we'll be successful. In conclusion, I pray to Allah, the Almighty, the most merciful, the most forgiving, to forgive us, us, all of us, our sins in this blessed month of Ramadan, and that to guide us to fast this month sincerely for his sake, and to make it easy for us to follow his straight path and bless us with, his, with, with wisdom and knowledge to do what pleases him and to stay away from what displeases him. Thank you very much and we hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Ramadan, Ramadan.